Joined now by Kamisha Hairston, Bowser High School graduate, basketball player, went on to play professional, went on to play at Temple. And Kamisha, let's talk about your high school playing days. How has girls basketball improved since the time you played to, to where we are now? Um, I think the girls are much more athletic um, than when I played. Um, I just think that there's a big there's a big difference that I always notice um, with the competitiveness. Um, I think my generation may have been a little bit more competitive, um, but you definitely have a lot more um, talent, at least from what I notice. How important is it for the African American Legacy Project to honor the female athletes as well? Because we're starting to see more and more of those coming in each year. Uh, it's it's tremendously important. Um, just as a female, you know, we go out there and uh, dedicate our time and our efforts to what we love just, you know, like the men, men do. Um, so to be recognized for the hard work that um, we do day in and day out is um, incredible of them. Went from Bowser to Temple. What was, what was that process like for you going from Toledo to Philadelphia? It was hard. <laughs> I was homesick. Um, my freshman year, I wanted to come home. Um, just the whole transition from one small city to a big city. Um, but with the help of my parents and even my coaching staff, um, continuing to encourage me to stick with it because um, of the potential that I had. I'm glad that I did st stick with it, but it was hard. You mentioned the coaching staff, and a little bit earlier you referred to as my coach, Don Staley, who's now down in South Carolina. Yeah. That's where Zaya Cook from Rogers is going. <laughs> what is your advice for Zaya as she gets ready to start playing under Don Staley? Um, just go in there willing to learn um, and work hard. You know, oftentimes we like to carry our accomplishments um, with us to the next level, but what I've learned is it doesn't matter. You know, everyone is just as talented as you. So go in there with an open mind, be willing to work hard um, and receive all of the wisdom that uh, Coach Dawn has, and she has a lot of it. After you were playing at the Temple, you played in the WNBA. Let me ask you this, as a, a youngster growing up, having the WNBA out there, was that something that motivated you playing high school and college that I could play professionally? Absolutely. Um, you know, I think I've said it quite often. Initially, my goal, I didn't even think about the WNBA. Um, I always wanted to play in the NBA. Um, but once I realized that it was a realistic goal to be able to play in the WNBA, I think um, my senior year in college that it actually could happen. Uh, yeah, you know, it pushed me to keep working. What's the biggest difference between playing the WNBA and playing overseas? Uh, it's pretty much the same, um, you know, because most of those girls go overseas anyway. Um, I think it's um, the same level of uh, competition for the most part, but the benefit of playing in the United States is you get to play in front of your family. Um, a tremendous supporting cast. And now that your playing days are over, you're back in Toledo mm -hmm. and continue to give back to the community. Tell us about what you're doing now. Um, I currently work at the Lucas County Youth Treatment Center um, and we, you know, work to change the, the mindset of the kids that are um, sentenced to us and I absolutely love it. I love our young people, um, clearly misunderstood young people, and so we give them opportunity to have a second chance at life the desire to do that, to, to work with troubled kids, where did that come from for you? I've always been um, the type of person who loved kids. You know, kids always gravitated towards me. Um, and then once I finished playing, you know, I started working at CSB and then I'm like, I really love and I really want to help kids that are in need. Do you think you're old enough to be honored this weekend? Because you're still a relatively young person. Um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'm 33, I'm getting up there, so um, maybe not as old as the people that are being honored, but um, hey, take it where you can get it, and I appreciate this been a, This has been a great year um, for me, and so I'm just rolling with it. What else has happened this year that has made it such a great year for you? Um, being inducted into the Philadelphia Hall of Fame, um, and then coming up the Toledo public school hall of fame or you the know whatever hall city league yeah. hall, of, hall of fame and so it, it's an honor you finally feel like your hard work is paying off so i'm, I'm grateful all right thank you very much kamisha harrison her hard work has paid off multiple times over the years certainly grateful for her joining us this weekend